There are many things that can mimic seizures uh, that can be confusing to us neurologists. We know of things like reflux, little babies that get um, their gastric juices get up and tickle their throat can create jerking or funny movements that can look like seizures. Babies who can have breath holding spells where they cry and go into that silent cry and they can jerk and twitch um, but it's not being a seizure. And then there are ones that are psychological. They're the ones that often kids will come in and the family is saying that they're staring and zoning out and the teachers are noticing this at school and the child is worked up for having absence seizures and it actually turns out that they're just distracted or that they have a learning disability and that they're having difficulty understanding the material as being, that's being presented. The bigger group of psychological seizures or things that mimic seizures are pseudo seizures which are episodes that really look like seizures, but they may have some giveaway that the eyes are closed during the seizure or the eyes are open. Um, they may do certain pelvic thrusting that you don't normally see during an epileptic seizure. And the way to figure this out is by videotaping them, doing an overnight video EEG where you can capture these events and determine if they're really epileptic or if they're pseudo seizures. So pseudo seizures are deep-seated psychological problems that manifest themselves as seizures. There are other psychological things that can cause um, stuff that looks like a medical problem. But pseudo-seizures don't mean that they're faking it. it they're real. They're unconscious. It's a, a, it's a subconscious feeling that comes up. So what's important is us doctors not to say when someone has a pseudo-seizure that it's just nothing and to ignore it. You need to get to the root of the problem and find out what's going on because these are real things happening to the patients and if you don't get to the bottom of that problem you're not going to stop these things from happening. They're seizures, they're just not epilepsy. They're not coming from the brain, but it's your body's reaction to this terrible amount of stress that's going on. So psychological things that look like seizures can be pseudo seizures, they can be staring spells, and then in babies there are other events that are medical that look like seizures as well. And the way to figure out whether they're seizures or not is to do a video EEG to see the event and to capture it and make sure that there's no correlate with abnormalities on the um, EEG of the brain. Thank you.